Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a high-end travel trailer rear living with an outside kitchen. This is the 2021 Primetime LaCrosse Model 3399 SE. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're going to give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. <laughs> Everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and towables. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this LaCrosse Luxury Light Ultra High End Travel Trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Alyssa, Andrea's daughter. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. Thanks so much. For, she doesn't want to be on camera. Uh -huh. Andrea had a situation and Alyssa's filling in for us recording a video or two. Thanks so much for coming out. Yeah. All right, let's welcome. get started. Yeah. Model is 3399 SE, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 8,728 pounds, so this is a heavy travel trailer, and the hitch weight is 990 pounds. Up front here, I love how we have a nice power tongue jack. Do have a spot for two propane tanks. And then right here on the fiberglass front cap, we have this nice diamond plate rock guard. Coming around the side, we do have a little bit of storage right here. It doesn't go all the way through, but it is nice. Slam latch doors held up by a magnet. If you see this marker light here, it is equipped with the Furion. So if you want to add side cameras, you certainly can. Coming down here, do you know what this is, Alyssa? Uh, no. This is a place for you to leash your dog up at the campsite. Oh, really? Yep. And then right here, we have power and coax and a TV bracket in case you do want to watch television on the outside. Coming down the side, if you look under there, we this does have electric stabilizing jacks. You'll see the switch on the other side. And when you get to your campground, you just push the button and it will stabilize itself. Uh, and then right here, we have two power awnings with LED lights, okay? Right here, we have these nice Lippert component solid steps. I absolutely love them. Because this is a lacrosse, it does have the extended season camping package. And listen, do you know what this is? No. That's beer opener for when you go inside the RV. Wow. America. Now this is why I love this travel trailer right here. Look at this. Nice outside kitchen entertainment center. Look at this. Man, nice big fridge right there. And then over here, we do have a uh, stove top burner. And then you got a little bit of storage and cabinetry here. Ain't that nice? Yeah, it's nice. Cool. Coming around the back. Oh, no ladder to get up on the roof. That stinks. Right here, we do have a bumper for the stinky slinky. Right here's uh, one of your buttons for your rear stabilizing jacks. It is prepped for a backup camera, and we do have a spare tire on the back. Love bug season. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. 50 amp travel trailer, so you got your 50 amp hookup right there. Coming down the side here. Right over here is your water heater, okay? Underneath, this is where you dump your black and gray tank, underneath right there. Right there. Okay. And right here you got a little bit of storage. Nice big heavy travel trailer. This is a nice big slide out room for the front part underneath. And then here's where you hook up your water controls and everything. Well, Andrea, oh, not Andrea, well, <laughs> Alyssa, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, yeah. Come on down. Man, we got this thing blasting. So, just walk, let me see this. We're going to do an initial look. Just like this. Oh, 
perfect. It's nice. It's nice because it's cool in here. Oh, like it actually looks nice. Yeah. A lot better. Here you go. Better New York City apartment. Let's get started up here. Back here in the rear living area, we have a nice sofa right here. This does make a bed. It has one of those pull-out beds. You do have countertops on both sides. Privacy shade right here, and it does go up, and you do have this window that opens up. Same on both sides for nice cross ventilation. I do like that. In here, we have a little bit of storage underneath there. Okay. Same on that side. Also, very nice, storage above. Now, I need your woman's opinion. How do you like the balances? Uh, it's nice. Nice, like nice, nice, or like not so nice, nice? It's nice, yeah. Okay. I, I, I like it, I guess. Cool. Um. So over here, we do have theater seats. And you pull this, oh yeah. They fully recline, feels nice, nice big window, and again, the slide out window. And why I love these theater seats is because directly across is your entertainment center. You got your TV, nice big TV, Furion sound bar, fireplace right there. Now, if you look in this cabinetry here, notice how it's not so deep. It stops right there where the wall is. That is because the outside kitchen over there. Oh. Over here in the dinette area, we do have your table and chairs. You got a nice, nice fancy light fixture right there. Four, t four seats, four chairs, and something I'm a big fan of. Um, I'll mention that in a little bit, but there's something that I really like about this dinette set. And it's just very nice. Again, the reason why they give you the table and chairs is because this is your higher end travel trailer. Well, Alyssa, it's now time for the MSRP. Burp, 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 burp. MSRP. Oh. Oh. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $47,944 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price because our sale price is lower than what the manufacturer will allow us to show it to you for. So here's what you do. If you're interested in this travel trailer, just go to generalrv.com and click get lowest price. I believe we sell prime time at all 13 of our locations nationwide. I might be a little bit wrong. Click get lowest price and you will get the best price in America on this prime time lacrosse. Alyssa, let's continue the video. Cool. Over here in the kitchen area, notice the heat duct right there. It's not on the floor. It's coming in through the side. I like that. Over here, you got nice solid surface. Don't don't turn it like that. Oh, sorry. I don't yeah. Know. You got nice solid surface countertops here. Nice big farmhouse sink. I love that. Big and rectangular. And over here, oops, we have a nice sink faucet right there. We got storage there, storage there, and then check out this underneath here. Very nice. Yep, perfect. Okie dokie. Over here we got your refrigerator. It's the Everchill. Oh, yep, perfect. Nice big compressor fridge. It does run off the batteries and the inverter. Okay, nice big microwave convection oven right there. No regular oven, I'm okay with that. And then you have this nice three burner cooktop from Furion. And since you don't have the regular oven, you have a ton of storage. Very nice. All right, then a little bit more pantry space right here. I mean, so my opinion, uh, the best thing to full time in is class A's and fifth wheels, but with this travel trailer, I could totally full time in, especially if it's only one or two people. It would be awesome. Right there, wow, huge pantry space. 
big storage over there. Very nice. How do you like these lights, Alyssa? They're nice. Are these Very lights? Art, yeah. Are they Art Deco? Oh, you asking me? I'm asking you. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> no, you're supposed to say no. Okay. Andrea's daughter doesn't watch the show, so she doesn't know. But it's okay. Let's check out this bathroom. In the bathroom, dual entry, right? From the living area or from the, from the bedroom, okay? We have your sink right here. A little bit of storage underneath the sink, okay? And then a little bit of storage right there. We do have a radius shower. Oops. Uh-oh. Does uh -oh. have to sit on the toilet? Too? Yes. Uh oh. Is my blue light still on? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, so we just got these uh, wireless lapels. So le let us know if you think our audio is better or not. And then you do have your radius shower right here. Now, Andre, you, I mean, now, Alyssa, you know what time it is? Uh, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. okay. Porcelain. Great. It's not that great. Here's why. If they would have angled it more, it would have been a prime pooping position. But because of that, I cannot give it the 4P status. It almost got it. It's satisfactory, but I cannot give it the 4Ps. That's the rules. Cool. Oh, you could have just turned around. Uh, finishing up in the master bedroom, we have your nice. Let me uh, turn this off. We have your nice king size bed here on a slide out with windows on both sides. Across, here's where you would put a TV about on the dresser. And then we have these nice drawers right here, okay? Up here, we got a little bit more storage, okay? And then we have nice big storage right here. Oh, and then look at that. You can get to that underneath pasture storage right there. Very nice. Yep, just a nice, simple travel trailer, at, but high-end luxury at a nice price. But, Alyssa, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you go, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Alyssa, what should we do first? Okay, you ready? First thing I dislike about it is right here. And this is what Andrea would dislike. She does not like the carpet. Uh, well, that's why everybody's different. Andrea does not like the carpet on the slide outs. Me, I'm okay with carpet. I don't like carpet underneath the dinette because with me, I would drop a tater tot with ketchup on it and then that would ruin our camping trip. So that's one dislike. Two going to be in here. I feel like I had one out here as well. But follow me. I got number two. Number two, I don't like how there's no headboard back there. I feel like it's boring and plain. Uh, especially a travel trailer of this price range. It would have been a lot better to have that headboard there. And then three, my third dislike is right down here heat duct in the floor out in the kitchen they didn't have the heat ducts in the floor they built it into the side i wish they would have done that here in the bedroom it would have made it nicer in my opinion that's not a deal breaker because at least it's in the bedroom and not in the kitchen but still that's just my dislikes now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer Alyssa, do you have something that you like about it i like the kitchen well let's go out there why don't you tell everybody? What do you like about it? Like the counter. Yep, the kitchen looks great. You have a nice backsplash here. Solid surface countertop throughout the whole kitchen. Again, folks, this is a travel trailer. And most travel trailers get you that vinyl wrap that can't get wet or moisture on it. This is a nice solid surface material. You can put your wet dishes on and it's not gonna harm it. There's plenty of countertop. Really big, nice stainless steel fridge in here. 
I must agree, I am a huge fan of the kitchen. And I like the lights. So that's one. Number three is outside. So number two thing I love about this travel trailer, oh, it's right over here in the dinette. Most of the time when you get tables and chairs, they'll push this entertainment center right here, making it very tight for somebody to sit here. This, I love this. I can sit back here. I got plenty of space right here. They, you have plenty of space over there. So four people can actually sit around here and not be sitting like this. You know what I'm saying? Gives you plenty of uh, belly gut space. So that's two. And then number three, Alyssa's outside. The third thing I absolutely love about this travel trailer is this outside kitchen area. This is a huge fridge. I love the stove top. You know they, they have a propane quick connect if you want to grill on the outside. So many times you don't get outside kitchens on rear, on couples travel trailers. Most of the time you got to go to the bunkhouse style to get this. I love how they added this here and it's so much better. What a lot of manufacturers do, they'll put the sofa on this side, entertainment on that side, and then you don't get the option for the kitchen. Well, Alyssa, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Alyssa, thank you so much for filling in for Andrea. Everybody, leave down in the comments below. Leave some love for Alyssa. Um, also, here's what we're doing. To thank Alyssa, what we're doing is we're selling our stickers online at mattsrvreviews.com. Bing! Where you can get the sticker. We're doing buy one, get one free. And for the next 48 hours, every sticker sale that's sold, we are giving the money to Alyssa for the help and support. So, what do you want to tell the people, Alyssa? Crazy. Yeah, buy them stickers, y'all. Buy them stickers. If you haven't gotten one, now is the time to get it. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or again, check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com. Or more importantly, uh, Go to generalrv.com if you want information and pricing on this. Go to generalrv.com, click get lowest price, and one of my team members, make sure you say you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews, and one of my team members will get you the absolute best price in America on this travel trailer. Doesn't matter if you live in Florida or Alaska, we got you covered. Thanks so much for watching. Alyssa, we'll see you next time. Next time.